you've arrived. It never does to be late for game on. Apart from anything else, the opposition is always quick to strike on the resumption of hostilities. And if you're not in your seats, well, you could miss a particularly nasty demise. Which reminds me, whose demise are we currently trying to prevent? Pickle, the book. This quest is for the crowd master, and its champions hail from Bath. The dungeoneer is Matt. Whilst his advisors with us are Razor, Ben, and John. They've arrived in level two, Master. Nothing known, nothing carried. Well, I expect the boys are as curious as we are, so game on. We've got some grapes in that pack. Yeah. I think so. All right. Uh, take, 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 no, all right, yeah, put, put the grapes right, in. Got, we've, got, we've got a scroll here. Yeah, read the no, scroll. Right, read it this. carefully and note down everything. Yeah, show them out. Hint. <laughs> she makes magic, he sees red. I reckon that can do with Lord Fear. OK. He sees she red. makes magic. OK, you put sees. that down now. Right, on here, whoa, sugar. Oh. Don't we have moon dust, right. fire stone, mm. Some old Pretty handcuffs fast. and a sword. A rather we don't, we, we don't posh looking sword. Okay, take the fire stone. Yeah, take the fire stone. Right? Take the fire stone. What yeah. do you think, Matt? What else? I, I reckon the moon dust. Okay, take that take, as well. Take, watch, so out. watch out, Matt. Warning, there's a storm geist. Matt, okay. start walking forward. This is one of Matt's new friends. All right, stop. Turn, turn, turn. Side step to your right. Side step to your quickly, right. Quickly, quickly. Get an attack from the haunting like this and cause life right. okay. damage. You're seeing through the ice show at the moment, Matt. Going through a big arch now, Matt. You were, anyway. Right, right heading for a door. You're heading for a door. This is... Right, Matt. Yep, where am I? You in a, um, it looks like in a castle, and there's a jester. Um, on top of a table, and there's a lady who's balancing him, and he's holding something. Are you sure his... this is right, Sid? No. No, it isn't working. And it's just not fair because I've done all the things it says in the book, and it always works for everyone else. I have helmet head. Hey! The jester's. Come back here, you silly jester, and hold it steady. Leave it out for a moment. You stand there. Can't you see? It's a dungeon here. You've got a name to go with that frame, have you? I have. What yeah. is it? My name is Matt. Hello, Matt. How are you? Right. My name, in case you didn't know, is Motley. I yeah. Did, I didn't know. Oh, well, there you go. I'm not so much a jester today, no. I'm more of a sort of blighted sorcerer's apprentice. Right. Not that Sid here is a sorcerer. Oh, no, no. She's more of a sorceress. Actually, come to think of it, she ain't much of a sorceress either. <gasps> I have no notice of him. And my name isn't Sid. It's Sidrus. Sorry. <laughs> my father's a maid, you know. Well, he used to be a wizard, but now he's a mage. You might have heard of him. What? He's what? called Hordris the Confuser. I've heard of him. Have you? I have. He says I should be called Sidrus the Confused. But I don't <laughs> think that's a very nice thing to say at all. <laughs> and it's not true anyway. Anyway, I was just about to invoke a brownie. Well, well that's a woodland sprite, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, well, you can watch if, if you like. Thank you, I'll watch. Okay, stand there. Now, do get back into position, Motley. <clears throat> anyway, where, 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 was I? where was I? Uh, oh, yes. Woodland Sprite. Yes, OK, thank you. <clears throat> Capsicum and Popsicum, leaf and tree, bring a brownie here to me. To me. No, not working either. That's a shame. Well, perhaps it's not Popsicum. Um, perhaps it's Mipsicum. Don't see as it can do much harm either way. All right, then. <clears throat> Capsicum and Mipsicum, leaf and tree, bring a brownie here to me. And he's hungry too. Quick, Sid, we need to moon dust. Try it over it. Go on. Moon dust? 
You're a hero. I know, a tall hero. Now, you stand there. Don't panic. Just don't panic. Right, eat dust and die. Oh, oh, thank goodness you came along. Because I'm sure we would have managed somehow. Just can't think out the moment. Perhaps I'd better give the brownie a miss for now. Oh, but I do have a spell I could give you in exchange for your moon dust. Yes, please. It works, too. No, no, it, it really works. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, well, it's one of Father's. What is it? It's called Sanurai. Mm -hmm. And what does it do? I think. <laughs> Come on, Motley. I've got another spell to teach oh, you. Oh, magic, magic, magic. I don't like all this magic I told you when you interviewed me that I was Goodbye. Very good. <laughs> well, I said that I liked it. Matt. Yep. Turn to your left. There's a table. Wait. Go to the table. Look first. at the table. What's on it? Oh, I think. Empty um, moon dust, Joe. Okay. <laughs> right. I just start walking. Turn away from the table. Just turn away from Left. the table. Okay, and walk straight. And walk straight. Where am I? Okay, Matt, you're walking back from the two people mm -hmm. and you're walking down um, sort of like corridor thing. Yep. And there's a bench in front of you. Right. So if you want to walk forward, you just keep walking until you see it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, what's on it? You got a spyglass. Do you want to look through yeah, it? Yeah, look through this one. Nine. Nine. Yeah, nine. So you see, madam, there are positive benefits to be gained from this alliance which I propose. You have territorial ambitions, and I have a certain natural aversion to dungeoneers. We need access to the amber forests. That I concede. Yet I'm not wholly convinced by your arguments, my lord, and the sisters. Although I rule them as queen, they will also need to be persuaded. How can I say this? They do not like you, my lord. Oh, well, I must say I'm astonished to hear that, ma'am. I have always been a friend to witches, always shown them the greatest respect. Very well. Pass on. Pass on. We will speak again soon. Stupid hag. If she thinks she and that bunch of unwashed flying midwives can get the better of me, then they can think again. And speaking of unwashed, where's that piece of walking detritus, Sylvester Hands? Oh. This is much more interesting. I do believe it's a dungeoneer. Very well, little dungeoneer. Let's see if I can give you that. Matt, Matt, put it down. Put it down. We've nothing powerful enough to save you, Matt. Matt. Run for Run it. Run for it. Run. Looking through the eye shield now, Matt. There's a window in front of you. Just there's two windows. Three windows. There's a door. There's a door You're going towards the door. What what came for me? A hand. A hand. <laughs> Alright, where am I then? Uh, Matt, you're in a kind of um, wooden room. Yeah. You've got I think it's like two corridors on your right and your left, and there's a door straight in front of you. And there's yep. a number five to your right. Oh it's a dungeon person. A dungeon era. That's what it is. Here. What's your name then, Dungey person? My name's Matt. Oh, hello, Matt. My name is Sylvester Hands. Hello. Hello. Oh, a bit of dirt on there, are oh, I know. Yeah. Now, listen, my name, as I said, is Sylvester Hands. <laughs> That's Hands, like feet, but up the other end of your body, yeah? Right? Yeah. And I've been put down here, especially to help armless little dungeoneering persons like yourself. Yeah. Now, what I do is I help them to meet Lord Fear. Mm. You know, he's ever so nice, really. He's even kind to animals. Well, they used to be people, but then he turned them into animals. Mm. Anyway, what I'm going to do, right, right, as you've got no protection, what I'm going to do is I'm going to protect you by putting this no, nice sorry, magic sorry, rope around right, No, it has to It's all right. Because it's magic. No, well, it's it's spell casting. Spell casting. Ah, you stay. You stay. You stay. You stay. You stay. Oh, oh, it's a samurai person, man. Oh, I'll take it off. 
Oh, look. I can see right through him. Matt, oh, yep. step oh, your left. Oh, oh. Call okay, him walk, off, walk. Please. Straight ahead. Oh, call him off. Wait, wait. Do I call, call, call him off? Oh, wait, wait, stop. No. What will you give me if, yeah. I, if I call him off? I've got something very nice for you. What's that? And the password, but call him off first. Okay, okay. dispel. U. M. A. S. A. R. I. Here, Matt. Yep. Is he gone? He's gone. Oh. oh. Now, look. Look at that. Come over here. That's nice. Do you know what that is? I don't know what that is. That's amber, that is. Ooh. Which yeah. amber they call it? Give it, give it. Though I don't know why. I'll tell you what. Right. I'll swap this for a gemstone and I'll throw in the password for level two. Yeah, Matt, yeah, Matt do, that. do it. Mm, all right, then. You've got a gemstone. That's nice. That's for you. Yeah. And the password is monstrous. Monstrous. All right. All right. See you later. See you then. <sighs> OK, Matt, we've got a choice of three ways to go, so, um... Right. Let's walk forward. Walk, walk straight forward. forward. Stop. Go... Oh. All right, looking through the eye shield now. You're going through a door. <clears throat> and there's a door directly in front of you, and you're walking towards it now. Yep. Yep. They're going through the door. <laughs> Matt? Yep, where am I? Um, you're in a room and you've got sort of two like archways. Um, just walk forward until I tell you to stop. Stop. Oh, Matt, Matt, walk forward. Walk forward. forward. Just keep walk forward. Master, it's, it's, the, it's the dead. Dead. A dreadnought. Matt, 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 walk forward. Matt, walk Yep. A dreadnought. Give me a word or I take a limb. Perhaps an arm, perhaps a leg, maybe even a head. Give me a word. Matt, Matt. Say monstrous. Say monstrous. Monstrous. That word is the right word. Pass in my master's name. Live in fear. Okay, let's go forward now, Matt. Walk forward. Side step Stop. left. Side step to your left. Go forward. Go. All right, where am I then? Right, Matt, you're in a kind of a courtyard um, outside the castle. Yeah. Um, up above, there's a there's a large window and there's a a, a, a large um, crown next to the window, and then to your diagonally left, there's a door. Yes, well, it's a very clear clue to the correct path, team. But if Matt's going to get there, he's going to have to grow wings. Hey hey! Down, I said. Get down, get down, get down. Ooh, oh, bite, oh, bite. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Just make up your mind. Now, oh, 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 oh. no, stop. No, no, sorry. I mean, start. Oh, no, Master. It's Hegarty the witch. Who? Hegarty's sister. Still using that antiquated broomstick. Never could point it in the right direction. Matt? Yep. Ask um, the woman on the broomstick if she can give you a lift up to get the crown. Could you give me a lift, please? What do you want, then? Hey, hey! Wanna fly? Hey? So, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. Hey, humans can't fly, don't have wings, hey! Just, um, Matt, tr try Matt. and bargain with her. Just, just tell her that you, you have to get up to that window up there, and there's no way you can get there unless she can give you a lift. Well, there's a window over there with a crown underneath it, yeah? And I've got to get there so I can complete my quest in the dungeon. Offer her the necklace, Matt. And I'm what willing you got to for Eggerty, then? Hey, hey, you got anything for me? Hey? Yeah, just offer I've got, the amber necklace. It's Ooh. witch amber. Eggerty likes witch amber, Eggerty does. Hey, hey, put it down there by your feet, then, eh? Hey? Hey? So... Right, put it down. Right, I get it later. Don't think I'm coming anywhere near you. Hey, <laughs> not likely. All right, now we does it. Uppity, uppity, skippity, hoppity. Flying. You're flying, Matt. Now! Oh, no. Bye bye, birdie! Where am I then? Stop. Matt, you're in a room and there's a puzzle on the floor. I yep. have to guide you through the puzzle, and if you go off the edge, you'll, you'll fall into a pit. Right. Okay. Turn right. Stop. Turn left a bit. Stop. Walk forward. Carry on. Another step. Carry on. 
Stop. OK. Turn on walking forward. Stop. Turn up right a bit. Stop. Turn on walking forward. Stop. Turn left. Turn right a bit. Stop! Nasty. Well, boys, wherever Matt's gone, I think it's only fair that you should join him. You can do the honours, Master. <laughs> Farewell, boy. Think they can find their way back to Bath, Master? Well, I don't see why not. They went a long way in level two. But what we need is someone to get us into level three. Enter, stranger. The next offering. And how are you called? Samaya Khan. Samaya? Good. Well, now that you've reached us, it'll be easy enough for your friends to follow. All you have to do is call them. But I should call quite loudly if I were you. We had somebody once who just whispered. And not all the pieces arrived at the same time. OK, Raminda, Carmeny, Zalmina. Well, that seems to have worked all right. Who are you then? Speak up. Raminda Mahan. Carmeny Patel. Zalmina Rashid. Hmm, not what I'd call advisers, Master. Not what I'd call wise heads on young shoulders. Not what I'd call... Oh, do shut up, Pickle, and keep your elvish homilies to yourself. I suppose they can't be a homilies. They ought to be elvishlies. Still shut up anyway and go and get the equipment. Where are you all from, by the way? London. London. Yes, I'm not surprised. I don't suppose they have many adventures there. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, the satchel. Elvishlies. Mm. you better take this satchel if you're going to go gathering food. And you'll need food, of course. And now the eye shield which sees the path that you do not see. And finally, the famous helmet of justice, with which you may only see objects held directly beneath you and not the path ahead. I know it seems so unfair, but those are the rules of the dungeon and the quest. All right, now you're ready to leave us and take your first faltering steps into peril. But perhaps, now that you've reached this point, you don't want to go? Yes, of course we do. Ah. <laughs> I thought so. All right, let me guide you for the last time. There is a portal before you. Only you can discover where it leads. So, advance. Where am I? You're in a room and there's a little um, pathway in front of you, which is rectangle. And then down below is a dropping where you can drop down. And then in front of that, against the wall, you've got four exits with some rock coming out of it where you can stand on. The first test master, the hall of choice. Yes, I'm sure you know these symbols, team. These are the four classic quests. The cup that heals, the sword of freedom, the shield of justice, and the crowning glory. Choose just one, and choose your path of destiny. What should we do? Should we should we choose? Choose? I think we should do the shield. The shield. Okay, shield. Yeah. Okay, we'll yeah. the shield. shield. Okay. Samaya, have I'm going to tell you to step to your side. Okay, keep on stepping to your side until the I right. say stop. Right. Yeah. To your right. Sorry. Okay. Okay, go. Stop. Oh. Now walk forward. Stop. Stop. Describe it. Well, you've got four hexagons in front of you now, and it's leading to the door. OK. okay. You've got to be careful, so listen carefully. All right. Walk forward. Stop. One small side step to your left. Very small. Small one. Walk forward. Stop, stop. OK, a small side step to your right. Small. Stop, walk forward. <laughs> dwarf tunnels, Master. Although no dwarfs here, and I can't say I like the look of this skeleton. I think the opposition are trying to tell us something. I think they're trying to say that even this close to Dunshelm, Lord Fear can still reach you. 
Press on now. Can describe. Can you describe where I'm walking through, please? Well, you're in a passageway. Oh, sorry. Oh, I shouldn't go that way if I were you. Not unless you like goblins. That doesn't make any sense. Because nobody does really. Like goblins, I mean. Even other goblins don't exactly like goblins. You're not a goblin, are you? No. Because it, it's quite hard to tell. And I expect even goblins can have their feelings hurt. Not a goblin. No, no. Yeah. Well, what are you then? Well, my name's Samaya Khan. I'm a dungeoner on the quest for the shield. Oh, that's a nice name. I wish I was called that. But I can't be because uh, I'm called Sidris. <clears throat> and if you don't mind me saying, this isn't the best spot for polite conversation. Well, I was going that way. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was going that way. Oh! But I think something nasty is following you. So, uh, well, we'd better both get going. Yeah. Take my hand and let's dash there. Time out. I trust Lord Fear will keep his hands off the game until the next phase shift. And of our little frozen Sumaya. As for you who must wait till that shift occurs, I leave you with these few words of consolation. Play we fair, or fear play foul. All begins again at the allotted hour. If you thought there was no such thing as a free lunch, well, you might be right, but there is such a thing as free gaming. You can play along with Bruce Forsyth for the next hour on Challenge, and it won't cost you a penny. If you've got digital satellite, just get ready to hit the red button and get interactive on The Price is Right next.